Here's a couple of the probes I'm using. One's a Bully Tools that's smaller. It's a more robust, thicker one, have more heavy duty. And then I got this longer one. It's like six foot, probably seven foot. And it's just one of these ones from like Harbor Freight that's made in China, but it does the job. And you can get a sample with this one out of the dirt and in the clay, in the soil. And the, if it's been, there's been a lot of campfires there, you can see the charcoal by getting a sample it's pretty complex but you see what i'm doing go watch my videos in the month of july you'll kind of get an idea of me explaining it and i explain some stuff in my community section you'll get the hang of this dump digging did me good it's a cakewalk on the river compared to the dump just the difference in the heat it feels like you're in an oven in the dump and i did it for years and now i look like i'm champion at the thunderdome and i can come out here on the river and just annihilate i don't get tired i know not to overdo it though i'm you know i'm getting older do the sift until my back gets a little pain get home and relax take a hot bath just know the right stuff to do just to where i can just look all the time and that's where we're at i saw this right on my shovel before i even dumped it in uh, it's another preform see it's a preform made out of that looks like brush creek a cobble of it the real nice stuff it's like a scraper kind of see that's almost like slate there it's been busted open look at that flake i'm still finding debitage there's a big rock with a hole in it man that surely looks could be natural we'll have to look at this can't tell if it's natural or not off of that is awesome what the heck well, this has some polish to it. And you know, the, those Amos people, like they're kirky looking points and them big sandies. There wasn't drilled slate. There wasn't like slate gorgets. It, any ornamental things, this could have been some kind of ornament. And I was gravitated right towards it. This is cool. It's definitely been worked around the hole and it's got polish to it. I don't know if this is suspended and someone was wearing it as a necklace or it was some kind of weight that they were doing something with it. And that's very cool. I like the points and stuff better, but that's a cool looking. See, there's another piece of like a work. The water's going up. I haven't been doing great. I've been here 45 minutes. I'm just wringing wet with sweat, but right here's the day maker. Look at this. The end scraper made out of that fossil chert and it's got like a notch worked into it here on the back that just makes it and it's definitely like a notch on a point and it's beautiful it's one of the nicest end scrapers in a while I love stuff like this that's just nuts i like this point as much as a nice amos it's got that purposeful notch whoa and that could be a little shaft scraper. These people were known for making them. I have like probably 15 nice ones. I'd say it was a multi-tool and that was to shave down an arrow shaft. Whoa, that's awesome folks. I love it. It's a weak maker. Now here's this tool. It's like an end scraper, multi-tool. Look how nice it is with a hafted shaft scraper. That's the shaft scraper right there, you can see it. And that's just the right size to, for an addle addle throwing spear. It, this is awesome. This is really nice. I'm really pleased with this. Look, wow. I like this is as good as a nice point to go with the points. I love it, I love the shaft scraper. See it? Wow, wow. Here's another real nice one. That's an end scraper multi-tool. That last one's nicer, but that's made of the same stuff. Awesome pair, wow. Well, the same material black is that one with the shaft scraper in it. And look, you can see the iron oxide leaching out of it. This has got fossil filled, glossy black. Looks like upper mercer kind of, but see it's all worked and it's got an end scraper. Those Amos Point people just made these end scrapers. This is classic, and they made little ones. Just all kinds of nice tools like this. That's cool, huh? See? 
I'll put it up at the end at the left. I just found a silk made of the same material. You see how it fractures? That's been used as some kind of scraper. It has a fresh break right there. But there's the blue stone. I just found a silk made the Indians. The Amos people love this stuff. It's all over these sites. See, here, hold on. Here, you can even see the blue, see the blue to it. This is just a natural, it's been hit though. See, it's been spalled open. But that's the same stuff as the silt. Right there, right where I found the silt. See, this is that same black flint chert. And that edge has worked. That's another scraper and it's made out of the same black stuff exactly as the last two end scrapers. That's crazy, there's scrapers all in here. See, it's another piece of the same stuff. Probably off the same big block. All this stuff was made. There's probably some nice black Amos points in there too. Probably find one made of this. But see the oxide leaching out of it, the rust like on it. But that's worked along that edge. It's another tool. I'll show you all three of them together next. See? It's pretty awesome to sift them all right in there together. And I'll find a point too. Well, this point came right out of there earlier this week and I forgot I found it. I'm wet today from all the digging. But see the iron oxide, the like rust on the point? It's the same stuff. So a black Amos with spots did come out of there. Right with those tools. It's all associated, folks. This is the point that's probably made right off all of that same block. So am I in an area that you could consider a cache? Yeah, but a workshop site, you could call it lots of things, but it's pretty stinking interesting finding all this stuff made probably out of the same block that a dude held thousands upon thousands of years ago. Wow. And now I'm back on it. See the fired rock? I'm in some other junk, but I'm right on the base clay and I just got an Amos. So another point, folks. Wow. Looks pretty nice. Oh, it is. It's it's a smoker. Not as nice as some of them I've found, but it's still real nice. I'm spoiled. I've been on just a run of glory. Look at that. There's another one. See, that's a super nice little point. Real ground base and notches. It's an addle-addle dart from the early archaic period. You can see I found ones that are ten times as nice in there over the past week. But this is still nice. There's a variety in them and the quality of manufacture, but can't complain about that. It's going to look nice in a frame. Thanks for watching, folks. Go back and check my other videos I put on a bunch this week. See, there's a flake of Crooksville there, and there's another flake. And that point was in here, and I'm right. I feel the layer up in the... That's a flake of quartz. That's odd. Flaking lots of stand here. It's a workshop. See, there's another flake right there. That looks like the edge out of something. I'll get back. I'll come back, do some more sifting. I'll finish this pocket, try to locate another one. The probe's really helping me out on this place because I can find the base clay fairly easy. Um, that's a big cobble out of like the river bottom and it's chert and see how it's been busted open. But I wouldn't nap this. It looks bad. It looks like it's kind of layered and it would bust apart. And that's why the Indian hit that. They carried it back here, probably out of a creek or a gravel bar, hit this and just discarded it because they didn't want to make anything out of that. That's why. Well, look at this. I found all of this stuff. What is it? The 8th, 9th, 8th, I don't know what day it is, but all of this and all of this is smokers and stuff that will be framed. All this, just in like eight days, I think. Later. It's a good boy. Look here, folks. This is what he. Look at my little buddy getting these, getting these chinny chin chin rubs. What a good boy. Look here, folks. What a sweet boy. Tell him you're a sweet boy. My little buddy. See, yeah, tell him we're going in. It's hot out here. Look at him hugging me. Poor little boy. He likes his cheek rubs, look. Little boy. 
Sue Precious. <laughs>